Hi, my name is John Hooper, and this is my tutorial for creating transitions with Element 3D. If you haven't already, I suggest watching grayscalegorilla.com's um, tutorial for creating this effect with Cinema 4D and uh, After Effects, as uh, that's what I watched um, before I tried to rec recreate the effect with Element 3D and After Effects. Okay, create a new comp. I'm going to use 1280 by 720. Create a new solid. Make sure it's comp size. Add element 3D to it. Go into scene setup and import the cube wall. You'll be able to download this from uh, a link on my website. Select uh, auto normals to get rid of the lines. And the side needs to be black, the front needs to be white, and the top um, can stay white. Add a new camera. Okay, and track forward so it fills the screen. Go back into scene setup and make sure it's on groups 1 and 2. Go into group 2. Go into uh, particle look and enable multi object. Go to Y rotation and make it 90 degrees. Go down to the animation engine and enable. Now you have a rectangle uh, animation. If you want the cubes, you need to adjust the randomness up to 100%, and then you have your cubes. Now you might want to play around with the animation types, which will give you different ways to uh, transition. I'm just going to stick with the random cubes for this tutorial though. Okay, go to one second, create a keyframe for the animation, go to three seconds, put the animation up to 100%, go to four seconds, hit U and create a keyframe, create a keyframe for seed. Go forward one frame and adjust the seed to whatever your number you like. Go to six seconds and put the animation back down to zero. Okay, you should now have an animation that goes from white to black and then from black to back to white again. Okay, add a curves adjustment. And adjust to something like this or until you get 
just white and just black. Don't want any grey. Okay, go to the uh, project panel and rename this comp mat. And uh, control D to duplicate and open. Go to element on this uh, comp. Go down to render settings, ambient occlusion, enable. Okay, delete curves and adjust the intensity and the radius to something you like I'm going to use 5 and 3 Go to the output and change it to ambient occlusion. Go to the project panel and rename this ambient occlusion. Duplicate the uh, mats comp again and open. Go into element. Scroll down and delete curves again. Go into scene setup. You want to change the textures to a shiny texture, so a shiny black and a shiny white. Click OK. Create a new parallel light. And adjust it to where you get the most specular highlights. there. Go to elements and scroll down to the output and change it to specular. And you might want to readjust the light again so you don't get that hot spot you just want uh, specular highlights otherwise that spot's going to show up on your image or video so you get something like that go back to the project panel and rename this specular and that's basically it the rest of it is very similar to how Grayscale Gorilla did the effect uh, with his uh, After Effects portion of the tutorial. So, great new comp. Bring in your first image. Then you want a matte comp, put that on top. And then change it to Luma Matte. Then 
bring in your second image. Bring in another matte layer. And change that to Luma matte inverted or Luma inverted matte. So it goes from one image to the other. And for your third image, bring in another matte comp and adjust the um, layers so that it doesn't cover up the previous two images and change that to Luma matte. There you go. Then want a ambient occlusion comp on top of that. And change the transfer mode to multiply. Can duplicate this ambient inclusion layer to get more shadowing if you want. And then it's the specular on top of that. And change that to add. You can't see that much specular highlight so you might want to go back and adjust uh, the positioning of the light and the intensity until you get some more highlights. And that is basically it. You might want to render out separately the matte, specular and ambient occlusion um, comps and bring them back in to make your uh, final comp run a bit smoother. Other than that, that's it. I still suggest you go to grayscalegorilla.com and see how he created the effect with Cinema 4D. You can download the cube wall from my website. And that's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.